All I could think about, Summer, was I spent 27 years on the streets of Orlando as a law enforcement officer. I went to work every day knowing that I may not make it back to my home. But here I was, a member of Congress. They broke the glass. On the floor in the House gallery trying to hide from an angry mob who had the audacity to break into the Capitol. It was a day that I will never forget. Valdez Butler Deming. She's Orlando's first female police chief, and as such, with nearly three decades of law enforcement experience, she's certainly seen her share of crisis situations. Public service. Yeah. But after retiring from law enforcement and becoming a congresswoman, the thought of losing her life on the job never even crossed her mind. Until January 6th. It was a day that I will never forget. It was a very traumatic time. She says because of COVID precautions, some House members were on the floor and others like her were in the gallery when rioters breached the House chambers during what was supposed to just be a ceremonial counting of the electoral votes to confirm Joe Biden's win. They immediately evacuated the members who were on the House floor itself. But those of us who were in the gallery, about 30 of us, we were basically trapped in the gallery. We could hear them banging and shouting and yelling, and they were determined to break down the doors. Remember, we could not see their faces because the doors were closed. We saw uh, members of the Capitol Police and others um, trying to, or moving furniture in front of the doors, but they were yelling, and everybody's yelling and screaming. I couldn't really understand what they were saying. You know, as a former law enforcement officer, I certainly knew that they were not trying to break into the House chambers to shake our hands and pat us on the back. Since that point, we've certainly learned that they were looking for the Speaker of the House, probably to kill her. And I say that with every bit of confidence that that's what they wanted to do. And we, we all have heard them chanting, hang Mike Pence the vice president of the United States. And oh, by the way, there were gallows that were on the Capitol lawn. I think every person who participated in that should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Demings now not only looking for accountability for the rioters, but also former President Trump, who she believes incited them. Let me put it this way. We should have held Donald Trump accountable a long time ago. He is an habitual offender. I also spoke with the congresswoman about the pandemic, the economy, race relations, and her career aspirations. You can hear what she had to say about all of those things coming up on West 2.